Okay, so nobody talks about how to send SMS or text messages, even though it is by far the most powerful way of getting meetings in your calendar. There's barely any videos about it. So what I wanted to do was give you a five minute video explaining how to buy a phone number, how to yeah connect it to high level, how to actually you know send SMS, how to upload contacts, all in five minutes, really simple. So you can literally send hundreds of text messages to your ideal clients every single day. Um, so firstly, you want you obviously need high level. If you don't want to pay for high level, there'll be a link to join the school group. You get free unlimited go high level accounts. Um, so you can send text messages, you can send SMS, you can cold call, you can send automated emails. You can do everything scale to six figures a year without actually paying for high level because it does get quite expensive. But nonetheless, um, essentially, you want to in your sub account, you need to add a number. Really simple. You want to add a toll free number, not a local number. If you add a local number, when you get ver um, when you need to get verified for A2P, and if you're not in the US, I don't think you need to do A2P. Um, but essentially, A2P is just like a regulation. You kind of need to do it. So, by buying a local number, so if we go here, you obviously want to select the country once it loads. Um, you obviously want to select the country that you're from. So in this case, you would you know literally select where you're from. Or I recommend you know having a phone number that has the same number as the number in which your contacts that you're going to be messaging are from. So um, if you upload leads from the UK, you would get a UK number. Just make sure you click on filter and only go for uh, toll free, I believe. So if you do that, you're basically going to get toll free numbers um, and then you can just buy one and it will take a couple of days to get verified and then you're good to go. So now what you need to do is you need to go over to um, contacts and essentially you need to upload leads. So you would have your lead list, as you can see, I've got mine here. Um, this is just an example. You would have their name, email, number, and whatever other information you want. You basically download this as a CSV. So download, really simple. Um, you then go back to your high level. You then basically wanna import these leads. So you go import contacts. You wanna upload, upload file, select the one you just uploaded click on next and it will basically load so you can see that we want to insert company name first name email and then also phone number so you put phone number uh, which should be phone click um, let me make myself a bit smaller you would then click don't import the other ones unless you want to import like this information as like location or I don't know city or whatever um, and then just click next now once you've done that go to advanced and you want to add a tag call this like cold leads v2 or just whatever you want to call it a tag is basically just so we can identify and not um confuse the contacts in your contact session uh, section in go high level so once you've done that and click submit it's going to take you to this page in which you can see um the thing and it's already done so we've actually already done it so now if we go back to um back to contacts and we go to uh tag and we click cold leads uh, v2 the, the, lead, the lead list we just uploaded you'll see that we have a bunch of um, leads in your high level so you can actually either just like copy this and then like call them manually by just inserting the number calling them and boom you can call them um, or another way is to essentially select all these contacts so that I've just put 50 but you could have 5,000 um, and you could basically add them to a campaign or workflow so right now, if I do this and I click, so I've already built a cold SMS. So let me try and find it. There's a lot of uh, workflows here. Maybe it's not published. That's why you need to make sure you have it published. Um, so if we go to automation, I'll show you what I mean. Let's quickly get rid of that. Um, you see that we have a cold SMS workflow and then we also have a fully automated outreach strategy. So if we click on this, um, this is essentially what you need. So you don't actually need a contact, uh, sorry, a trigger, um, but you do need an SMS. So you basically customize your SMS. Um, and once again, if you're in the school, you just get this built out. So you can literally just have this without even building it yourself. And you can just import your contacts and boom, send a hundred SMS straight away every single day and get a ton of meetings. Um, but yeah, how this works is you would send an SMS. A, uh, if they don't respond in 90 minutes, um, you can change this to like, 24 hours, which is our, you know, usually recommend. We don't want to spam them. Um, and then it would basically send them a follow-up. 
And if I don't respond, it's send another follow up. But I don't recommend doing more than like one or two follow ups for SMS because some people get annoyed. Um, so how we essentially do that is we need to actually publish this workflow. So if we go here and make sure that it's published. Now, when we go back into contacts, so we go back into contacts um, and we essentially go to tags and we go for cold v, uh, cold leads, select that. Now, if we select all and we add them to the workflow that we've just, I've just showed you. Um, so let me try and find this. Really, yeah, so here we are. Um, what it's going to do, right, is it's going to, and we want to do drip mode. This doesn't matter. You can put whatever you want there. Um, put the day in which you want to start the campaign. And obviously, you don't really want to do more than 50 at a time, just so you don't ruin the deliverability of your phone number. Um, and then it would repeat after one day. So in summary, this is what it should look like. Start on whatever day you want. So it's going to add 50 people into the workflow every day. So then boom, you're going to send 50 SMS a day. Um, and that's going to put them onto that automated campaign, if that makes sense. Um, however, if you don't want to do that, you can literally just select all the contacts um, and then click send SMS. And once you click that, you can basically just type whatever you want. So your pitch or hey, is this, I don't know, Mitch, as you can see, um, or whatever. I always recommend starting the SMS with a just a qualifying question just to make sure that you're messaging the right person and to get a response. Um, and once again, you'd want to send in drip mode. Once again, this should be the day that you want to start. Batch quantity should be 50. Repeat after one day and then start. You obviously, actually, this is really important. Don't send messages at like midnight. You want to process between like, I don't know, 10 a.m. EST to 5 p.m. or 4 p.m. Um, EST or something in which, or well, whatever country your leads are in. And then you're not going to get as many angry people. But this is honestly the most, the easiest way to book meetings. And what I found is um, the, if we go back to our automation and if we go to uh, this one, to our actual like workflow that is pre-built, um, you can see that the reason we get an internal notification here is because if they respond positively and to your pitch or your offer, then we may as well just call them up and have a conversation and put them in for a call. Um, but honestly, hopefully this video was just super simple um, and one of the easiest ones out there. So in summary, you need to buy a phone number, make sure it's toll free. Um, once you've done that and you're verified, it should take a couple of days. Um, you just have to put in your information and stuff. Then you have to find leads and it should look like this. Download the leads as a CSV, go to contacts, um, upload contacts here. Um, not actually that one, but um, where is it? So yeah, import contacts, upload the CSV select all the leads like this and then basically just add them to a campaign or workflow really simple or send an sms that is how easy it is and it has about a seven percent upon booking rate so you'll be able to flood your calendar if you actually do this um and yeah this is one of one of the best outreach strategies in my opinion um just make sure you um like do your research and make sure it's allowed in your country some countries it's not allowed um and yeah, this is just an education video. I'm not telling you to do this, but yeah. So hopefully this video helped. If it did, just leave a like and subscribe. Um, and yeah, I'll catch you in the next video. Take care and check out more of my videos up here. And if you want completely free high level, um, just join my sc uh, school group and I'll give you actual scripts for Instagram DMs. I'll give you yeah live booking examples, my automations. So every single one of my workflows, you get inside there as well. Um, so yeah, it's honestly the value is like, thousands of dollars but it's only like um i think right actually I'm, i don't know the price because it's probably going to go up soon so i don't want to say it and then you click it and then it's more but it's very cheap um and it'll be one of the best decisions you probably make so yeah hopefully you liked it and i'll catch you in the next video take care and have a, an amazing weekend